Okay, if you are new to yoga and have any health conditions or health concerns, it may be worth just consulting with your doctor before you start yoga. Hi, my name is Debbie and this morning I'm going to do a short yoga routine for back care. So whether you have a healthy back or any back problems, this routine will help to strengthen the back and keep the mobility. So we are just going to make our way to lying on our backs, so bring in feet to the floor and just bring in the back down, head down, making sure there is space for the back of the neck and then drawing knees in towards the chest. So just hugging knees in as close as you can to the body, just opening up the hips, stretching out the lower back and just start to make small circles or to gently rock side to side. Just see how your back feels. So this is really nice for a massage on the lower back muscles. And as I said, it helps to open up the hips, stretch out the lower back. And it just gives you a chance to connect with your back as well. Just check in, see how your back feels. So if it's comfortable, lifting, head off the mat, drawing the nose down towards the knees. And then just slowly bringing the head back down and bringing feet down to the mat. So we are going to prepare to come into a twist. So taking arms out to the side, relaxing the shoulders back, bringing feet and knees together. And I'm going to take the knees over to one side. And then if you have no neck problems, maybe gazing over the opposite shoulder. If you have any neck problems, keeping your gaze up towards the ceiling. I'm going to bring knees back to centre and then over to the other side. And this is twists. Uh, one of the best things you can do, again, for mobility of the back and the spine. Really nourishing for the digestive system. And you can work with the movement and the breath. So take an inhale as knees come to centre and exhale as you take knees over to one side. So you can do this as many times as you like, as often as you like. And when you finish, bringing arms back to the side of the body. And we're going to prepare to come into a bridge. So bringing feet as close as you can to the body. Relaxing the shoulders, bringing arms to the side, palms facing down. Feeling the feet in the mat. So for the bridge, the movement comes from the feet. So as we push the feet into the mat, push the knees away, slowly lift the back off. Maybe starting with just a small bridge. And then slowly bring in the back down. So again, you can work with the breath on the inhale of breath, coming up into the bridge and exhale, coming back down. So each time you may want to go a little deeper into or a little higher into the bridge and even take arms overhead, working into a stretch into the shoulders. And then on the exhale, as you lower down, bringing arms back to the side of the body. So the bridge works on strengthening the legs, strengthening the lower back muscles. And it's a really nice posture for opening the chest, the heart centre, stretching the abdominal muscles and the thighs and the hip flexors as well. When you finish, just drawing knees in towards the chest, hugging the knees in, and then we're going to make our way to sitting. So either rocking up or rolling over to one side and come into a comfortable seated position. So if cross legs comfortable, um, come into cross legs. If not, having your legs out in front and just making sure wherever you are that you sat on sit bones, not on the lower back. 
then kind of lengthen in the spine and we're just going to come into some nice gentle side bends so taking one arm in the air and coming over and you come back to center bringing one hand down to the mat reaching up with the other arm and coming over so i like to work with the breath and the movement so with this one as you take an inhale of breath reaching up and exhale coming over And thinking of opening up the side of the body, so reaching up and as you come over, thinking of the breath coming into that side of the body and coming back. So we're going to make our way onto hands and knees to do um, what you call cat cow. So if you have any knee problems, pad your mat or you can use a blanket just to support the knees. So to set up, having knees roughly in line with the hips and hands under the shoulders and making sure the weight is on the hands not on the wrist so spreading the fingers and just feel the pat of the hands on the mat and then just relaxing the neck relaxing the head and then as we take an inhale of breath pushing the tailbone away feel the tummy coming down towards the mat lifting the chest lifting the head gazing forward on the exhales, we tuck the tailbone under, draw the navel to the spine, back going up towards the ceiling, chin to chest. So the inhale, feel that movement coming from the hips. The head comes up last. And on the exhale, chin comes to chest last. So this again, lovely movement to work with the breath. Taking that full inhale of breath as we stretch the front of the body and the exhale as we stretch the back of the body. So cat-cow improves the posture and balance. It strengthens and stretches the spine and the neck. And it's, well, again, one of those postures you can't do enough of. When you finish, just bringing big toes together, knees wide apart. We're going to sink down into wide leg child. So bottom going down towards the heels, walking the hands as far forward as you can till you feel a nice stretch in the armpit. And then bringing the head down to the mat. If the head doesn't come down to the mat, maybe using a block or a book just to rest the forehead on. So... In wide leg child, we're getting that nice stretch on the spine. Feel that stretch from the fingertips to the armpit. And it's a feeling of pushing back, bottom down towards the heels, but reaching forward with the hands. So pushing back and reaching forward. Keeping the breath nice and steady. Stretched out enough in your wide leg child, bringing hands to the knees, knees together, and we're going to slowly make our way to standing. So nice and slow, head comes up last, and just rolling the shoulders back as you come up. And we are going to just do a short routine um, called half sun salutation, or it's a variation of a half sun salutation. So bringing the feet together, spreading the toes, feel as though you're lengthening the spine and bringing hands to the heart centre. So we take an inhale of breath, we're going to open up into a back bend. So feel rather than compressing the spine, you're lengthening, opening up the heart and chest. And then swan diving into a forward bend. So soft bend in the knees if you need to, bringing hands to the knees, the shins or to the mat, the crown of the head to the floor. Bring in hands up the shins, come into a flat back, gazing forward, and then coming back into the forward bend. We're going to come back up into the back bend, nice and gently, soft bend in the knees as we come up, sweeping the arms overhead. Feel as though you're lengthening, opening the chest and the heart centre, and then bringing hands to the heart. So you can repeat these half sun salutations as many times as you like. I hope you've enjoyed this short back care routine. Namaste. Thank you.